He has allotted one million dollars. So yeah, what are them so? See them. Welcome back everybody to another vlog. So today we are start out in Port Moran that is in Eastern St. Thomas and I'm going to show you a little issue this community has as it regards to the drains. So the first drain you are seeing on the screen right now is located just outside of Port Moran town in front of Linval's hardware and they did some debushing of the drain so the water can flow a bit better. From what I know, check is working on this drain currently, so it will be soon sorted out. I also see that this water is channeled over to where the hardware is, and I'm guessing it's going over to the right hand side to where the little river is just up on the bridge, which is currently behind me. So we will soon hear a quick rundown of what is going to happen for the drainage system in St. Thomas as it regards to the hurricane season from Dr. Michelle Charles that is the MP for Eastern St. Thomas. Well, we're here in St. Thomas Eastern. We're looking at some critical drains. We want to thank the government of Jamaica and the Prime Minister which will be helping us with drain cleaning and debushing. So it's, 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 it's um, expected to have a really strong hurricane season this year. So we're preparing for it. We are in consultation with the NWA to see which drains are critical. A million dollars sounds like a lot of money, but it's not enough for four divisions. But we're very grateful and we're very thankful to the government for getting us prepared for this hurricane season. So we're here in Port Moran looking at this drain, which is a very critical drain. Um, as we all know, the Port Moran area, the square, floods very often. With a little bit of rain, it starts to flood. We have several, several drains in St. Thomas Eastern. So the most important ones, we will attack first. So thank you for being here, TBJ. This is what we're doing here today in St. Thomas Eastern. Yes. 
so now we're gonna add a little bit more into the town to speak to one of the residents that was affected by the flood recently well i am Vinette johnson from cotton tree portman i am living here from 84 and we are having this problem even before that in country with water but it's worse now and the rain now have to fall no time now even two minutes of rainfall we got flood out it's just since november gone the 16th of november i have lost a freezer right in there so into my shop because of the heavy water see that barricade make up out there we just put it there because at the same time my son was there at the time and that was what he did in order for the water to pass through and not go into the house this time right now i have a linoleum on the floor in there because of what the water that mash up the things in there when the rain fall on the water that i will have to pull the back gate around there for the water to go through so when we see the rain set up like this i rather not to stay here because i know if it come up i can't go through that water to escape the water so i have to leave so this rain that is going on here is a serious thing for us and it's not no we are going through this thing it's a long time we need assistance like no and this is what i did the other day and nobody attend to uh, attend pay any, pay any attention to us when um mr green was over by bowling when i felt they said they even fire truck here if you come pick me up one at the time i don't know what to do again i called for help several times and there is nobody to our attention miss um Miss, Miss Cheryl, that is the operator, the little parlor there, she, lose, she lost two fridge right there, but she's not here now. She's sickly, fell sick on her yard. And I know uh, several, several of us are suffering from this water in Port Moran. Not just now, as I said, long years ago. So it needs somebody now. We need attention right now. And es es especially this hurricane season that we as understand that is active and will be active. We need somebody. We need somebody attention. I am pleading and making some intercession for somebody to come and help us. We need it. I can't stay here overnight when this rain, when this, um, I have to sleep and fret. And it's, a, it's me alone living here. Me never only come here sometime as a woman. Me can't manage it. The other day, somebody have to come and help me to lead me outside. Me set them mash up inside the house. Anybody can go and look at them. Water mash them up right through and through. I have to give out me what not the other day to, to fix back again. And we can't manage, we just can't manage. We just can't manage. We need attention now. And we know we are Jamaican. Somebody can look into it and come and assist us. God bless me. So now she's just going to show us a little bit of the damage inside of her house. See here, water do them so. See there? Water do them like that. Under the bottom, I have no use. See the other one here? You have to put, you can't come here so. You have to put board into them because see them how they mash up there. Water do them like that. So oh, you see how the floor is here? Water mash it up like that. The water go right through the back, through the back and go through the, the bathroom when it come. This is how the water do it. So when you see the time with the water now, me have to take up, if me have anybody to help me, me have to take up these and put them on some black, like two, three black height. As high as the bed is, the water go underneath the bed. Mash up my mattress, I have to buy back, a, buy back a mattress. I mean, I get no help from nobody at all. No help from nobody. Them thing here, I have to give. You know, sand can around here. It's him putting them cardboard if make the water come as high as we up here. Into this. Mash up everything inside this one, that one. So it's sand can around by lethal. I give them to remagle them. I mean, if the rain come, if I get somebody to help me, put up them on the black again. The same thing going to happen. But I can't stay here when this type of rain. Just fear to stay here because I'm afraid of the water. Not the normal water. And then people down the road, so they need to go down there. The other day, last week when the rain fell, I spammed them. Then flood out again. Flood out again. So the barrier that you see me make out there is my son show me how to do that. When he was here, here um, November gone, and when the rain, is him show me, is him do that? And open the back gate and the water go through because the water catch him passing me into the yard, you know. And if he never do that, might be water catch him up here. So I'm glad he was here because I don't know what happened to me. And this him show me to do that. So that's why you see me have that barricade out there with the black and the thing them that come see me son do. So if the water too high, me not staying here because I can't manage it.
Too much water? Well gone, dear. So right here I was looking at the water coming up from underneath the road from this drain then I took a good look in the water and I saw that fishes were in there and my friend was telling me that they actually came from through the drain from when the river was high and came up through it and flooded the road. So now I'm going to take a look from what gone a Curtis Bottom Road still in the square. It's just that Curtis Bottom, I think, was the original main road going to Bath. Persons from the area, you can correct me if I'm wrong on that. So I'm not entirely sure as to what caused this section of the road to be always flooded. But persons were telling me that just up the road there's a river and it needs cleaning and stuff. So the water comes down to here on the road. Also the drains along this section needs to be cleaned. A lot of them are packed with bottles or overgrown trees and bushes and the rest as in mud. So you know that none of the water is being channeled out properly from this area. I can see right there it's going up to where the business places are. I can just imagine what it is in the peak of the flooding how far that water goes up to those business places. So you can see over here that the drain is currently being blocked by overgrown bushes also rubbish from where people throw it somewhere and it gets washed down to here so it's not a good look we need to dispose of our garbage properly to prevent the drains from getting blocked so i'm just gonna show you a bit behind where the business places are where i just show you that the front of them are flooded i'm gonna show you behind them now So this drain is currently being blocked by silt that is at the bottom of it. So when I pan down the camera you're gonna see that the water is just circling on top because it cannot go down. So I'm just gonna walk, go up the road just a bit more to get some more persons to talk to.
want to support Which part she did? One of your little business right here. Ice cream, hot dog, tea, anything you want Where's this bad Daniel? Good food. Mark, we are yellow. Eh? Nice drinks in the bar here to cool the bar. That's the water by the way out of the square. Start the customer level and come up. So we need the water to get filled out of the square. Right, so we can have better cotton tree. Nice community, but water bad of it. Can we have water to do it? Here, we are going through this. Here, we are going through this. Yeah, I know we're not supposed to talk with the food in my mouth, but a full time now, everybody must come together and unite as one because unity is strength. So the place can stop, flood out when rain falls because this is going to take more than 10 minutes to flood before you. Alex. Alex. Underneath the roadway, full up a buckle, the GNM block up. So that's why the water can't pass because the buckle. And the trees and the things them pack it up. This never, this they never do something about this right now. We're tired of it right now. I'm out. <laughs> yeah, man. So, when you want to go to the restaurant, it's just across from the gas station in Portman Square. When you're going up Swamp Road, that yellow building that you see. Hopefully, this issue can get sorted out soon. Because I know a lot of persons are seeing it from years ago. I remember the lady said she lived there from in the 80s. And it was going on long before that. So like how the road improvement project is coming. I'm hoping that they can try to lessen this flooding impact on Port Marant town. Honestly. So with that being said, please remember to like, comment, share and subscribe for more and click the notification bell to get notified when I upload a new video.